Just a real quick mini today to talk about uh, changes the hitter made in just a half hour that made a lot of difference in their swing. I had a senior, 69 year old, his name's Bob, from the villages in Florida, and he had a really big dip in his swing. And if we use four or five different elements to uh, create a change in the swing, we can really enhance it rather quickly. First, what I did with Bob was I had him go ahead and stretch that stride out a little bit longer. So he started to pull his weight off his back foot. His feet were wider, he got the brace leg out ahead more with his body, and thus he was able to rotate a lot better. He flowed into the rotation better. Secondly, the second rule is the hands should always go towards the path of the ball. Rather than always drag it up like this, I had Bob, when he came down and started his rotation, if the pitch was here, take your hands towards the ball right here. If it's up here, take your hands here. Your hands are going to guide the bath path on the lag and snap to the point you want to be. Even if you have a really low pitch, trust you can go down here and you can snap and create underspin a lot better than trying to pull the knob up and golf it. Third thing would be to throw the bat. How to use your hips and the power off your stride to throw the bat. And that involves as your hips throw open and you have a strong rotation against the front leg, have your lead arm really whip like a karate chop. You karate chop it here, you hammer it here, you put them both together, you get a motion like this, and then finally you just throw the bat head into it. It's very loose, it's very controlled. The ball is down here, rotate and throw it into it. As the pitch gets higher, you know, wind and then rotate and throw the bat head into it. Make sure your point of contact is back, but that's the most explosive way. If you pull and drag, you're going to end up dropping the bat head more so. It's got to be a throw, and the throw just can't be from the back side. It has to be boom right here. It also has to be boom right here. That's why we break down and use a frisbee throw while we use the ball throw in our drills and in our camp. All right, Bob, look at these first swings here. There's your golfy, loopy uppercut. No power at all. Your hands go down. They come up because the knob wasn't and the bat wasn't parallel to the ground. Just a very loopy, golfy uppercut. You'll either top it or go over the, or cleave underneath it. So let's stretch that stride out. Stretch it out about another two inches. Turn the front foot open and feel the weight start to come off the back foot. The weight transfer off that back foot enhances your rotation. Great job there. Secondly, hand path to the ball. Always take the hand path to the bottom part of the ball or the middle of the ball, wherever you want to cut it. Nice job there. Third thing is we want to get down and we want to really use our hips to throw. See, we're throwing now. We're doing the first two. We're throwing the bat head uh, into the plane of the ball. We aren't dragging it. We aren't pulling it. We're throwing it. And the fourth thing really that we didn't talk about yet is we want to aim maybe sometimes three, four inches below the ball just to get us on a nice level path. Look at what a remarkable turnaround that is. What a great swing. Look at you're stretching it out. Hand pass going right, you're throwing it, and you're just letting, this one is so hard that it wants to fly out of your hands, that's why you finish with a one hand finish. If you're fast at the end of the swing, you'll be much faster at impact. Just absolutely remarkable. On low pitches, you aren't afraid to go down and take the hand path down there. And then when we get to the higher pitches, like right here, look at, hand path goes two inches below the ball, gives you a really nice cut. Just absolutely remarkable turnaround and done in 30 minutes. Here's a swing before, loopy uppercut. You look 69 years old there, Bob, but look at here afterwards. You look much younger, I'd say 68 and a half. Great job.